guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm just gonna be finishing off some of the baby items that I have to send to my sister-in-law for my niece now my niece was due around Thanksgiving time but she actually came yesterday on my son's 16th birthday which is November 10th so I'm a little late but I'm gonna send all the um, outfits that I've made and along with some other stuff that I bought as well so I'm just gonna show you what I've made so far. Like I was saying, um, someone was at the door. So I've made um, a few outfits so far and I'm going to just, uh, I'm gonna kind of personalize them a little bit and then send them off to her tomorrow. If I can get the um, one more outfit that I have to uh, sew done. So the first um, outfit I made and I think I filmed making these. I know I filmed making a couple of these. So the videos are on my channel. If you go and look um, in my sewing playlist, you'll find these. Um, but yeah, this is the first item I made. And they're just some cute little pants. Um, I love this pattern, this uh, fabric. This fabric is from Hobby Lobby. Um, I have not been able to find this fabric again. I'm sad about it because I really, really love it, but I haven't been able to find this particular fabric. I do, I did find another fabric in the same color, but not this print. So I got this one, and this has a matching bow, and this bow can be untied. I think I might untie it and make it a little bit smaller because right now it's kind of big. Um, and make it a little smaller to fit the baby's head because she's tiny and I didn't this is a three to six months So it's not for her to wear right now, and I will be sublimating a shirt uh, a onesie to go with uh, This and making an entire outfit. So that's the first thing um, There then I made uh, this romper now this is of course for the summertime, spring or summertime. I still have some threads to trim, but spring or summertime. Uh, it is the rainy day romper. I forget who it's by, but I did film when I was making this. So that video is in my sewing videos as well. Um, the details, the back of it is open, crisscross, and you could adjust it so it can kind of grow with the child um, it has three snaps where it can be adjusted um, I love the little ruffles here on the sleeve yeah and this is made out of a uh, heart denim and I think I got this denim from Joanne fabrics but I that was years ago and I haven't been able to find it since either so I used my last little bit of it to make this I think I might have just a little bit and I may make a matching bow to go with this as well so uh, we'll see about that. But yeah, this is this outfit that I made. Now, the next thing that I made, because I was thinking about newborns coming home, you know, in their first month or so, they practically live in gowns. So I made four gowns um, for the baby. And the first one is, let's see, this cute leopard print. And I don't think I filmed making these. I didn't. So I got this uh, cute leopard print. I don't know if you can tell. It's like a um, brown or beige with the pink and black uh, and white leopard print on it. So I made this. And I also made a matching turban bow hat to go with it. So there's that. The second gown I made was in this fabric here. And I'm not sure where this fabric is from, but I love it. It's so fall. It's, I don't know, it just reminds me of fall. It's so pretty. My sister gave me this fabric and I have a little bit of it left. I wanna see, can I make Carson something out of it, like a dress maybe if I have enough. I don't think I have enough, so maybe it'll just end up being a t-shirt. But I love this fabric and I ended up making this baby gown here. And I made the matching turban bow hat to go with it as well. So um, two matching sets right there. And then the other day I got a fabric order in from Fabric Wholesale Direct. Um, I, was tr I wanted to try out some of their jersey fabric. Um, 
I don't know. It's okay. I'll say it's okay. It's not my favorite jersey. Um, I like the jersey from Hobby Lobby and Joanne a lot better. Um, but this one, I mean, it's okay. So I made this gown. And you probably can't tell the color on screen. It's like a mocha brown. I, I say it's like a mixture of a brown and a gray. But um, yeah, I'm gonna personalize this and put her her name down the side or something because um, it's kind of plain. I'm not making a hat or anything to go with this because, well, I might. I'm not gonna say I won't. I'm like, it'll depend on how much time I have today. And then the last thing that I made so far is this tie-dye gown, which is my favorite so far. I love it. Oh no, this isn't the last thing I made. Okay, well, this is the last gown that I made. Um, yeah, it's tie-dye. This fabric is from Hobby Lobby. I love the thickness of it. It's really soft and um, it's, of course, a jersey. So. I really, really, really enjoy this fabric. I'm going to make a hat out of this. Um, I might make a different style hat this time. Maybe like the little uh, donut turban. Or I may just make a regular hat and put her name on it. And maybe put something cute on the front of this. So, this as well. And then the last things I made were... I made these footed pants. And this is kind of like a waffle weave, I don't know, some kind of knit, waffle weave knit. I found it in my stash and it's really soft and I just needed to use some of it up. So I made these little pants here and I made this hoodie, baby hoodie to go with it. Um, I wasn't happy with the pattern for the hoodie that I used. I feel like it's not enough space between the hat and the pocket the way they have it I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter with the baby since they really have no necks you know so um, I don't know I may remake this um, I don't know it's, it's just not my favorite thing but it'll work and that's an outfit here that's just a cute little outfit there so I did make one other thing. I made some footed pants as well. I don't remember if I filmed that on my channel. I don't think I did, but I made some footed pants in a cute dinosaur fabric. I think I did film it. If I did, it's in the sewing section in my playlist, but um, I can't find them at the moment, so I'll have to look for those. But on today's agenda, I'm going to make a Alien Mac beatbox romper for the baby um, and I still have all the pieces I have all the pieces already cut out and everything so I'm just gonna go ahead and see how quickly I can sew this up and get this um, done and this is actually the fabric that I made the baby footed pants out of um, if I didn't film the video I can't remember I'll have to go back and look but I'm gonna go ahead and film I might film me making this or at the end I just might show you all the finished product I'm not quite sure yet um, but that is what is on my gym today. That th These are the things that I already have to send to my baby niece. Um, I'm gonna pull out my um, Cameo 4 and my sublimation items because I'm gonna sublimate a onesie to go with those orange pants and headband. And I'm going to put some vinyl accents on the front of some of the gowns. So uh i will show you those things in the end i don't quite know what i'm gonna film yet so uh just keep on watching if you're interested in seeing um what i'm doing with these baby clothes here are the placket pieces for my beatbox romper i'm going to fold them right sides together and clip them and then um attach them to the front of my romper See, I have these two finished snap plackets and now I'm going to find the front of my romper. Let's see which one is the front. This is the front. So I'm going to find the front of the romper and I'm going to attach the 
plackets here. So now I have the plackets attached to both the front and the back piece. The next thing the pattern says is to place your romper front and back sides together and sew at the shoulder seams. So that's easy enough. You just gonna, this is my front. I'm just gonna flip it over on top of my back piece and I'm going to put them together. And I'm gonna attempt to just use my serger for this whole thing if I'm able to. Um, I'm still trying to get comfortable with it, so I need to kind of push myself to use it more and not always have to do like a double duty and sew and then come back and do my serger. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull my serger forward and then I'm gonna sew these at the shoulder seams. Okay, I'm back and we are here at my serger. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead. It sh I mean, I've used this before. It's not hard, but I was having trouble. <clears throat> I was having trouble with it eating my fabric, but I figured out what the problem was. It's because th this little bar right here was catching my top fabric and making it so that my um, seams or my, so that my um, fabric, the top wasn't getting attached to the bottom. The top was like rolling back and the bottom was just getting the, the edge on it and not the top. So now I just make sure to pay attention that I have both pieces underneath um, when I'm about to um, go ahead and sew it together or serge it together. And I usually do use it with the, um, the knife down, but I think I'm gonna use it with the knife up this time to just see uh, how I feel about that. And uh, I think it should go fine. I'm not too worried about it. I think I'm getting a little bit better at it, but let, before I jinx myself, <laughs> we'll see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and search these two um, shoulder seams together. Okay, so yeah, that did perfectly and it didn't eat my fabric, so I, I figured out that that was what I was doing wrong. So, again, let me serge this side. Now that's better. Now I have both sides lined up like they should be. So now that I got the shoulder seams um, done, I'm gonna trim my threads a little short um, instead of tucking them because these are not ones that are going to be I'm going to still have to like add in the neckline here and add in the uh, sleeve so it'll catch it and I won't have to worry about that so yeah now that I have these shoulder seams um, done I'm going to look at my pattern and see what we have to do next okay we are back and so the next part of our romper is going to be the sleeves and I don't think I did it this way when I made Carson's um, romper because her romper was a size, I don't know, a size 10. So it was really big and I don't have like a huge work table. So I wasn't able to flat lay and add the sleeves. But I'm, I'm gonna flat lay these and add in the sleeves and then I will um, search them on. I might go ahead and uh, do the neckline that way as well. Uh, I mean go ahead and like attach the neckline as well. It doesn't tell me to do that, but I kind of know the steps of this part But in the past when I thought I've known something and I just go ahead It doesn't always turn out right. So maybe I should just follow the pattern But like I said, I'm gonna flat lay these sleeves in And then um, We'll see what the next step is Okay, so I'm back. I have both of my sleeves laid in. I did make sure to um, lay my seam flat facing towards the back on both sides. And now I'm just gonna attempt <laughs> to serge them in. I still have my cover stitch over there. I showed you all in the last video in my craft room tour. I have yet to open it, but I do have a couple of um, projects 
I have a couple of new patterns that I bought and I do have the fabric already for it. So maybe I will practice that a little bit so that I'm able to use the cover stitch on my next couple of uh, projects. Um, one project that I have in the works or on my on my idea list is a shacket <laughs> or a shirt jacket um, for Carson. I got the pattern from Peekaboo Patterns and I think they just released the adult version as well um, today or yesterday I'm not sure when but yeah I'm gonna make um, a shacket for Carson out of this cute uh, plaid flannel that I have and maybe uh, one contrasting color um, I'm not sure yet but that's what I'm gonna do um, that's what's on my that's my next sewing plan so the next thing that um, you are to do once you get your sleeves set in is to go ahead and pin from your armhole from your armhole armhole your end of your armhole all the way down to the bottom on the all the way down the sides to the bottom and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did um, again which is I'm going to um, surge them together Okay, so as you can see, I got the side seams sewn all the way up. That was pretty easy. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna work on is the sleeve cuffs. So, let me get my sleeve cuff pieces here. I'm just gonna pull my serger forward. And these are easy, like you do any other cuff. You're just gonna fold them in half. Like so. And then I'm going to surge them together on this um, short end or long end. Then you just cut them apart like that. <clears throat> and then you're gonna flip them inside out or right side out. Flip them into each other. I don't know how you wanna say it to make a cuff. Now, no matter what cuffs I'm doing, I always go back and trim them a little bit to make them more uniform. So I'm just gonna trim them like so. 
and now it's time to attach them to our to our sleeves and I'll be back once I've done that you're going to insert your sleeve here and then serge around okay so I have sewn the cuffs on I just matched up the underarm seam with the cuff seam, seam, um, seam as best as I could it's probably not perfect but it'll do the next step is to prepare our leg cuffs so we're gonna do those the same exact way I just did the arm cuffs and uh, I'll be back once I have these sewn on okay so I have I didn't sew the leg cuffs on yet but I have made the leg cuffs but I had to go and I had to sew the placket piece onto the um, bottom I forgot to do that earlier so I just I sewed the placket piece on and now I'm going to go back and uh, attach the leg uh, cuffs and once I attach the leg cuffs I will be back and I think the last step is to well the last two steps is to attach the neck band and to uh, put in our snaps so I think I'm gonna do all of that off camera and I'll be back to show you the finished product okay so I finished the whole thing I put in the cuffs as you can see here and it looks really nice where it meets the um, where it meets the um, placket snap placket thing I had never done that before so pretty proud of that and then I got the neckline in just fine I may go back and top stitch um, the neck look, the uh, neck band down uh, I may not I don't know but everything is done except for adding in the snaps so basically all it says is for you to decide where you want your snaps it's no like snap guide or anything you just decide where you want your snaps and then you put them in so I have this thing the cam snap tool I won this in <clears throat> Cross Creations 1000 subscriber giveaway as well and I bought I got this little container from Dollar General for a dollar and then I ordered all of these colorful snaps from Amazon they were like I don't know eight dollars so I'm gonna decide what color I want to use on here and then pick all the pieces out and get ready to put them on here I've only used this like a couple of times so we'll see <laughs> but yeah I um I haven't turned I, and if you see like threads and stuff I haven't um tucked the tails in or uh cut all my loose threads just yet either so I'll go back and do that um after I'm done doing this part but I just want to make sure I line up the placket evenly and then I need to decide where I want to put the um, the snaps so of course this part is going to be for the top of the snaps and so I think I want to do it just this way do it like this across and then just decide where I'm going to put them from here. So I'm going to start in the center. I'm going to start in the center and just maybe I'll put like five or six snaps. But I'm going to use this tool to make the hole. And I'm just kind of winging it. I honestly don't know what I'm doing, but you know. That's how I do it sometimes. So one snap will be there. I think I'll do one snap here. And I don't know, maybe one snap here. So that's one, two, three. And then I'll do 
one snap here that's four and then I'll do one snap here that's five so there's no rhyme or reason how I did it I just honestly put them on here it's for my niece so it doesn't have to be perfect I'm not selling it if I was selling it I would have really marked out where I want everything now for snap options I thought that I could use this pink that would look really nice but I also have some blue dinosaurs on here too that could look nice so I'm thinking I want to use the blue because they more close it more closely matches so let me get all my little pieces together for all five of these snaps so I'm going to need I think 10 of these caps Ten. So five for the top and five for the bottom, and then I'll need five of the male pieces. I think those are the male pieces. I believe they are. And then five of the female pieces. So I think the way it goes is since I want, since the snaps are going to be coming above, over and above like this, I want the female one to be down here on this um, side of the placket. So, I'm gonna get my little doohickey cam snap press and you wanna make sure the bottom is rested in this little cup thing. And I think it's in there. And then you just wanna give it a squeeze. And there is my first little half of that snap. I just want to make sure I squeezed it well enough. I think I did, but you know. And I'm going to repeat the step and do the same thing for the other snaps that I made. I'm just trying to find my little holes. So that is the finished product. I'm gonna go ahead. So this is the finished product. I'm gonna go ahead and um, go through and tuck all my tails and everything. And uh, once I do that, then I'll be ready to uh, finish the other items on my list. One thing I do say about this um, romper about this uh, romper uh, I don't I don't like how wide the cuffs are I kind of want to make the, the cuffs a little less wide you know to fit more snug on the baby's leg and or I probably next time will honestly just extend this snap placket all the way down all the way down to the end of the legs so the whole thing can be unsnapped and I will probably taper off uh, the leg as it goes down so that it could be a little bit more um, snug onto the baby's leg because it's kind of wide and that's the way the pattern has it. So other than that, I like it. It's cute and it'll be a cute little uh, addition. Now the only other thing I may do is put a little decal or something on the front of it. I haven't decided, but if I do, I'll show you in the end of this video. Okay, I'm coming back in this clip to show you the finished product of what I made, uh, I got done today. So I already showed you these in the first um, part of the video, but I'm just going to show you again. This is outfit number one. It is footed pants with a little baby hoodie 
I still might go back and like top stitch down the entire hat because I don't like the way it kind of like the lining pokes out um, but I didn't add any embellishments or anything because like I said I felt like it wasn't enough space between the neck of the uh, hoodie and the pocket so I don't want to like bring attention to that more than it already is so I'm just gonna leave it as is but that is outfit number one this is what I got done today the beatbox romper and I actually went ahead and added an embellishment to it um, and I just put baby saurus this is dinosaur fabric I thought it fit and it bring it brought out some of the yellow so I thought that was cute and on this one like you saw in the video I used blue snaps so that is outfit number two now I sublimated a onesie and this is just a Cricut onesie I had two um, in my stash and I just put this cute saying here it's not to go with anything really it's just a onesie she can wear with anything next you saw the rainy day romper um, in this blue heart denim you saw the well if you haven't saw the video on me making this you can go back and watch it all my sewing videos are in a playlist on my um, channel now so go back and watch that I'm gonna throw all these into the wash before I send them off tomorrow anyway so I still have some like uh, blue marks from my um, water soluble marker next is this outfit here which is my favorite it's these I don't know boho looking pants and then here is the bow that I made to go with it and then I sublimated the other onesie um, to say mommy's girl and I color matched it using my um, my sublimation color chart and so it matches pretty well and I just think that is a cute outfit and she's gonna love that and after that I just have all my gowns I didn't do anything else to the leopard print gown and hat or the um, like fall floral gown and hat I didn't do anything else to that but to the tie-dye one I added her name down the side in this cute font and I just cut that out on my Cameo 4 and put it down the side. I just wanted it to be kind of simple, but still cute. And then this is the one that I hated the most, but I think I really like it now. I found some um, rose gold foil uh, in my um, vinyl stash. And I went ahead and put her name on the side of this one. Her name is Casey Denise. And if anybody doesn't know, Denise is also my middle name and my sister-in-law's middle name. So she is named after her two favorite aunties. Um, but yeah, Casey Denise. And this one is like on that mocha color jersey. And then uh, that really, really, really shiny foil. And I may still make a hat to this one and the tie-dye one. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. That is all I made um, and I'm going to get these into the wash and I'm going to send, ship these off to her tomorrow because baby is here and yeah all of these most of these were made from fabric from my stash as a matter of fact all of these were made with fabric from my stash so I didn't have to spend any money on these clothes I got to practice my sewing and I came out with some cute pieces that I think she'll really like so yeah if you guys like this video go ahead and please give me a thumbs up like this video um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have any comments please leave them down below and let me know how you like this video if you think that these are something that I could possibly add into my new Etsy shop which I haven't put anything in just yet um, yeah, let me know how, how what you think because I have really been struggling with what I wanted to put in there But I think all of these items came out beautiful. I'm very proud of myself and Honestly, I can't believe I made them but I did and I can't wait to see her in them. So yeah guys um, I'm so glad uh, I got all these done and um, 
yeah i guess i will just see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching again bye guys